Good morning. Oh. How are we doing? Starting this video a little bit different because I've got a big job in this week and I'm going to bring it in from the very beginning before I even start. So I'm literally just about to pull up the workshop now. Without further ado, let's get cracking. Sorry if I sound a bit rough in this one. I think I'm getting that coldy flu thing that's getting around. Just parked up. Here it is. So this is my job for the beginning of the week at least. Another one of CT Haulage's Scania's and I've got to change all the blue to white. It was in AI. Agri... Agri... Uh, Agri Industries. And it's going to be going into tarmac. Before I pull it in, I'm still ripping it apart. I'll show you around it quickly because it is a brand new piece of kit again. As Callum's stuff always is. So all this is getting changed. I've got a towel because I'm going to put it on the floor so I don't have to hit my boots off. Every time I want to get in and out, but all this is getting changed to white. It's going to be white, white, white. Just white the whole thing. Grey barge, white. No grey, I think. But it's got, it's got drop dryers on it. It's got all the lights on it. It's mint. He's getting, he's bringing down new the exhaust cover. And he's bringing down some donuts as well. Be painting, blasting, and painting them as well. Woohoo! So let's get in it. Ooh, I wonder. I can put the sides on, can't I? <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, it's doing its light cycle thing. I love a wagon with armor lights. I've just... It's just locked itself. It's unlocked. <sighs> Still plenty of space in one of these little... Little cabs. Put me, to, put me sheet down. So I can move it into the yard. Slight problem. I can't fit it in the yard. I'm gonna have to figure out. I'm gonna have to move mine. Tell you what, though, it's been a hot minute since I've been an eight-legger. I miss it. I genuinely do miss it. Now I've just got to hope mine will start because battery's getting tired. I didn't have it on charge last week. I don't think. Nah. Not a sausage. Not a sausage. Now I've never pulled anything off a Scania before, apart from the bitch I pulled off Marty's last time. So, let's figure this out together. Also looking, because it's got an Aliwell body on. And my cousin Neil works for Aliwell, so I'm trying to figure out where... I know he signs him on the headboard. First bit's off. It literally just pulls off. There's two bolts again in. <laughs> These are fun to remove. They're easy and hard all at the same time. Like, they're not like the old school where, like, the RF, where you got nut and bolt and captive bolts and the gun rotten and stuff. Pop it over in and clipped in, just slip in, which is easy, but also, especially on eight-leggers, it's going to be bad on anything, but eight-leggers especially, because they're in the dirt and loggers, stuff like that, they get full of crap, and also, you've got to fully drill out the rivets. First mistake I made, I only drilled the heads off, so obviously they're still held in. So, yeah. So, I'm on to this bit next. I think this comes off before the step comes off. Uh, I've got, I might see if I can take this apart because there's a bolt snapped in here so you can't swing the light around and I'll fix that for Colin while I'm on so I want all this stuff off and I'll copper slip more when I come back together as well because there's me copper slip on these it's a lot newer than everything I usually work on Especially wagon wise. I've been looking at this sort of stuff. I've been tempted to see if I'm making some because I reckon I can make these light bars and stuff. Tell it to make some. I'm gonna make a couple for the ERF. Make things and everything I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make for the ERF and then see how it is to make and possibly even start turning them out for other people. Make the headboard that I've been making. Step boxes off, wings are off. Front bumper corners off. I'm just fixing this light before I put it back together. Because this stud has snapped and it's stopping the light from swinging out so you can get the bulbs properly. So I'm just going to take that out quickly, grease it up, and put it back together. Nice and simple. Nothing too complicated there. It's just really the type of stuff that you do when you've got it apart anyway. So might as well do it now. I'm going to grab some lubris. Or oh, smart lubris. Crap and stuff. And squirt it. With that, because it's it um, it, it's like a spray grease, really good stuff. 
that's well and truly in that like I might have to get the warm warmer on that pull that off yeah, I think pull the, the light out completely and put it on a bench and do it just got this as well for charging the wagon up because obviously I went to start this morning and nothing happened so just got this ring charge Ooh, I like that it's on plug so you can change from plug or to a um, if you wanted to have it on like if you wanted to have that on your batteries permanently you can have that put it on your batteries permanently in fact I might get another one of them and then when I come outside I can literally just plug it straight in and see batteries charging up hopefully this will bring them up and keep them there I think this one's tough mine this battery I think this one's knackered this one I think I can get away with for a while but the thing is I don't want to be buying brand new batteries at a lot of money for them to sit over the winter so I quickly got over how I'm pulling it apart because I pulled that side apart I know what I'm doing now ish so headlight out or swing it out on the the swingers and I take this corner off this corner here there's one big bolt there and oh, the bolt's missing up that one there's a bolt underneath a couple of bolts underneath and then this corner will come off I'll show you that this one under the and the headlamp unit they're a big old unit these headlamps and also when you're working down here care if you don't stand up and clap your head straight into that like I did before right on the corner it's not pleasant not pleasant at all all the front ends off uh, I still haven't fixed that lamp yet I'll fix that one in a minute but dad's on prepping at the minute and I think Calm said he's going to bring a new exhaust heat shield new donuts so not worried about that dislocate and that glued it makes life easier to get around be fair I might split that one now. take these out and get this off uh, take this off all this off and just keep going a bit at a time and that goes and the headlamp but I'll put that back in a minute so what's next on the agenda this come it's this bit this first I'll work this out from doing the other side so do the centre of the, the wing first and then drop wing we can't get the drop wing off we'll do take this off first it's easy enough uh, and then this one off or this one this one this one it just works it, it, it all clicks together it's really simple to be fair it's just dirty and a little bit of a pain but not horrendous drill out all the rivets as i said before i got a little bit further past the head because it makes them actually come out after the headache of getting these out i also found it was easier as well if you got a hammer and punch and also punch the, the, the rivets up but you can see you can imagine they still hold on they're pretty damn tight which it did really tight it's all apart i did kind of get carried away and i forgot to carry on filming <laughs> sorry about that but it's all apart so i'm going to now click it as much back together as i can bringing her up lovely it says it's nearly fully charged Whew. it'd be nice to have a, a wagon i can jump in and know the batteries it's going to start again it's all right in the summer but i think beginning next year in the summer and it's time to use it and stuff time to get some new batteries on it someone might be able to help us with this what's all this gubbins for now it was on adr and i don't know what all this is for obviously this is a, a power on or off, power on and off isolate that there's all this stuff as well Just, i don't know if I could, I would like to put like a toolbox or something under there. Because low carb, old low carb, lack of space is a serious problem. I'm just going to pull this broken stud out of the headlight unit. And uh, use a little bit of heat away from the lamp, obviously. And the power drill is not get out. smell because it smells and I'll burn it off there we are 
easy peasy. I'm just on doing the repairs to the bits that need repaired. So this is the near side drop wing, which has been cracked. So I'm going to repair this, hot staples, and then V it out and fill it. Hot staple it. These are staples that get hot, as the name suggests. Melt into plastic, melt around, and then they, when they cool down, the plastic cools around them. Leave them in and make it nice and strong. I'm going to do a line of them. I'll snap them off. I'll see the little legs snap off. That's the, these are the little things here. I've got to move around. What the hell? There's a crack. Right there. Oh. That's really weird. There's a crack in my lens. Oh dear. Fair have a look at that. I had to move about, took mine out, put that in there, and I brought mine in. So there we are. She fits. I'll give you some Cummins noises, because why not? Unfortunately, I can't give you Jake brake noises, because the, um, the Jake brakes aren't programmed to work stationary, which I need to get sorted out, but... Yeah, no Jake brake noises. She needs to be rolling over 15 mile an hour to use Jake brakes. Which is annoying, but oh well. The all the bits are repaired, primed, flattered. I washed the insides off. But we're gonna leave these in and just mask them up because I'm trying to get them in. Just after you paint it. It's gonna be a fun job, so no thank you, not for me. Got a pile of the, the bits in the oven now, just about ready to paint. And because we're not going to be able to fit all in at once, we're we'll hoping we we'll but let's be realistic here. Yeah. We've got <coughs> all the front end parts, uh, steps, front bumper corners, these are the headlamp, the spot lamps around for the seat, for the seat, for the roof. Bits are prepped. I'm prepped. Let's get the paint squirted on. Got a primer, and the colour. Next time we see these bits, they will be shiny white. Crap Paint's on. Ooh, the GoPro picks up picks up a lot better than the phone does. But white full gloss is on. Punky Dory. So that's the first batch of stuff done. Wait until I'm coming with a couple more bits, brand new bits to paint from to replace some broken bits and damaged parts. Handful of white to do, badge to do black, and some donuts to do blue. Let these get off and have a cup of tea. The first batch has come out. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little bit croaky today. But, the joys of being in cold and flu season. This one is. Really happy how they turned out. Brand new Scania front corner exhaust cover. So, I can get that, click, pay, uh, get that prepped, that prepped. Internal panels where the door's going in, the door checks. Put them in, get them squared as well. And I really need to remember to put my aerial on the on the old earth. She's looking nice and shiny. But uh, I keep nearly knocking it off. Set back. The new panels that Gallum Spiders come from Scania textured. So I'm gonna have to prime them, scotch them, prep them, finish. Prep these, flat uh, prime them with high build cook the high build off, and then flat them and paint them. Time to go. They have been primed, cooked and flatted. These two bits. So we are ready to squirt the paint on. Well, we're starting to build it back up again. Got the front bit, bump a bit in. I'm building up the corners. Put the lamps back in, and put the steps on. I've got to remember which steps are going, which bits go in which order, so. One thing I am doing, Put some copper slip on because I'm bloody sick of everything being absolutely bone dry when you're trying to do it, do any work on it. Making good progress. Uh, 
the wiring is done. I did wire it up and I forgot about the light bar because the wire fell on the floor and I didn't see it. So, made good progress, I wired it up. Uh, I'm having to keep the GoPro on charge because some of you will know from previous videos last winter that the GoPro does not like being cold and it does my head in. We have put the it's here. So, GoPro does not like being cold, and now it's to the point of if the battery goes below 45%, when it's cold, it says low battery and turns off. And it's annoying because the GoPro is a really good piece of kit. The paintwork's done, it's on the rebuild side now, putting the screws and stuff back in, fitting the trims and everything back on, copper slip on every single bolt because none of them have ever seen any anti seize or lubrication. Which is, in my opinion, insane, but whatever. I've also had to um, belt sander, put the belt sander out, belt sander all the rivets off because all the rivets were stuck in, which makes it impossible to get the the wheel latch back in. So, yes, that's fun. But we're getting there, we're not far off now. Keep building it up, and then hopefully, if I get built in time, I'll get some time on my wagon. The Dutch headboard, which I've been making. And in fact, I'll quickly go show you that now, in case you haven't seen it. If you like this kind of stuff, working on the lorries. Obviously, this is Callum Scania, my ERF sitting there. Uh, my ERF, looking a bit naked without the sun visor on. But if you like this sort of stuff, working on wagons, paint work, fixing things, wiring things, making things, just like my new headboard that I've just made. I've made all this up and I've wired it up. You'll see in the vi upcoming video when I get this done. Also just paint my sun visor again. you see it all in the upcoming videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and come along for the journey. Like, subscribe, comment, all the stuff in between. And also, nice gloss black Scania badge. So yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button and come along and play with lorries and comic truck shows and, and all that stuff in between. I got the induction heater out because the bolts for the exhaust cover are seized. So I'm going to get, use the induction heater. I'm going to heat them from the wrong side, heat the bolts up. And hopefully, it expands, expansion and contraction will help free them off. I've got it. It was stinking hot. I managed to get it away. You can tell it's stinking hot because. is done. All done, got the bolts out, put new stainless bolts in with compass slip on. All the clip, all the wings and everything are on, the steps are on, the light bars are on, the badges are on, the light surrounds are done. Put the mites on. Send some mites on. Filming LEDs doesn't always work. <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> After me, I think I do prefer the white to the blue that it was originally. And I think now, because Callum's not going to get up for tonight. I finished it a little bit later than I wanted to, but these things happen. I'm going to drop it back forward again and get on with my wagon. I'll do some cinematics and cool footage of it. Hey, that's it. Calms is all done. She's all white and looking all lovely. Get mine in the yard and start working on mine. So, yeah, if you enjoy this kind of stuff, again, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share the channel far and wide. Wiggle, wiggle. Woo! Check a little.
a couple more cranks than I thought there actually. Thank you for watching. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that jazz for more lorry based content and mechanical paintwork, anything else. I think in the next video, which won't be this, it will be actually a surprise coat. No, it's not really a surprise, but it might be, it might not be. Then there's going to be me, Richard Jackson, Heavy Low and Slow, and Liam, Mr. LB. And we're all going to be down at his, at, Le at uh, Richard's house, for his birthday. So, yeah. Cheers, and to our for now.